Extreme Masters, Champions, Majors, back to back, Astralis again! It's Kalimitsa! Guys, what a major. We witnessed the coronation of the one true unchallenged gods of Counter-Strike in Astralis. We saw a meme become reality as Entz made the grand finals over the likes of Team Liquid and Na'Vi. There were moments that made us want to stand up and scream. Side is simple. Oh, oh, what the hell? God! Moments that warmed our hearts. And there were moments that made us laugh and maybe cringe just a little bit. And that's why we've got a fails and funny moments of the major coming up for you in less than 24 hours. But right here, right now, we're only talking about the good shit. The aces, the clutches, the game-winning, match-defining moments that make majors magical. And of course, the out-of-game moments that made this particular event so special. Now let's get this video started with the best aces and clutches from IEM Katowice 2019. They're tried and tested and it's going to be Urkast. Oh, that headshot mid-air and he's picking up more. Then gives Greyhound a great chance to capitalize. Oh, no plant yet. That might be a bit early for Dick Stacy, but he's going to find the kill. Missed shot from Flusha and a beautiful follow-up. Second one automatic goes down and it's the rookie. Everything to do and he's delivering a one on two and Greyhound slows down the retake. Truly is a baptism of fire for Zelsis. Already picked up three, Sterling and Malta remain. And his spidey senses are tingling. He's gonna pick up another headshot. Can Zeltis feasibly pull this one off? It's all down to Sterling, whittling away the time. Oh! There is the kit, but it doesn't matter. Zeltis with a beautiful clutch. I think that's gonna be, I think we have that already. I'm yeah. pretty sure we get like fallen looking all smoldery with a headset on. <laughs> Oof, close shot from Xperia, doesn't connect, pressure on long, and he does manage to thrive with it. Once again, connects onto Zelsa, I think he's found his nemesis, Bente. Down the side, sports flash, and that's going to be an org on the floor. This could get bad fast if Xperia doesn't move quickly. He's in a terrible position if they start going wide. There's no one to support him, he finds one, and Dow escapes through the smoke. Oh, and another one! It's collateral! Oh, nice. It's a massacre! <laughs> Make control yet again here from Astralis. They're going to try to fight through this Molotov play. Finding one, can't get a third. Gratisfaction is going to end that streak before it even begins. Astralis taking control of mid yet again, and I'm, I'm not going to lie, I would have been wrong with my call as well because two people were in the A site instead of just one. You've tried to go B time and time again, and Zipex is just there to destroy you. And Device will be losing this op battle. Now we have a little bit of a round on our hands. Just about 45 seconds left on the clock. We just set up there at Sandwich. But yes, you're right, JKS needs to find that frag. In fact, Gratisfaction will be the one that does find it. First and foremost in the round, now turning in the way of the Renegades. The bomb will be planted. Let me JKS, Gratisfaction, and Liaz to defend this plant. Zipex trying to get sneaky, does find the kill on the Liaz. But he will be cut down by the AWP of Gratisfaction now, Dupree. He's dead. <laughs> and that the round on the back, back for the Renegades, yeah. I cannot believe he got the sandwich kill. It takes some, some real kahunis to jump over into sandwich like that, Sean. It does. A lot of kahunis, Trace. Hey! Oi! Down here! Hey! Saw dudes up here! Surely never going to expect Dead Fox. And this is where the HP on automatic, remember, he hasn't taken damage from an opponent, it's all been a teammate. Automatic's gonna be a free kill, but it'll also give things up. Rush will know exactly what's gonna happen, actually. The trigger discipline. This is amazing. He's gotta be careful, Rush. Not aware. Great round from Dead Fox. Get right and Lecro, both charging straight in with kills of their own. It's a complete chaos nightmare right now for Vici. They're losing players left and right. Lecro's gonna go down to the hands of Freeman, leaving Get Right once again in a 1v2 clutch. He's taking one of them down, but only has 8 HP to play with. The time is on his side for the for now, but he's gonna go for that bomb plant, gonna force it down. Put Freeman into a position where he needs to push him. Will the 8 HP be enough? Oh! Yes, it will! Get right, drills the head off of Freeman and clutches the round. You can see what it means to him. They should be able to trade this one out. Colts are not really in a multi-frag position, but he's getting it done. He's making it work as he gets three kills. Taka will back him up. That is fantastic work by him. They didn't expect him to be in the open like that. Most CT setups are very passive. Unlucky as anything, but it actually goes down to the one versus one. He knows where Taco is as well. He knows he's stuck inside of the pit at this point in time. He could back off, he has the bomb. But he wants Tarko to have that shadow of doubt in his mind that he's already left, that he's gonna walk out. Lucky pulls it back brilliantly. As Alexi B somehow claws his one back single-handedly, he's gonna get caught out from main entrance. Surely at this point though, the Orc does a little bit of damage to Boomich. Sergei with the AWP. 
left alone now. Three versus one. Surely it's where we see them get around on the board. If he gets the bomb denied here, oh my goodness. He actually has a chance here. This is unbelievable. Oh one versus one now. That is so sick from Sergey. How he keeps that round alive for the team, I have no idea. Simple's already over there. He's behind the smoke. He's fallen off. That may not be true when the guns are brought out, but for now it certainly is. The first kill, though, goes the way of Flamey. He already has the pistol. It's just enough to cut off one on the retake, but the bomb already planted for Na'Vi, and they just have to hold it off. That's not hard. Flamey's got another. It's gonna be extremely difficult if Simple can get around from Coffins without being spotted. Blue Box is preoccupied. If he wraps in, they're both gone for an emo, and they're gonna push it all together. Rain can't do enough. Just to Nico. Third in the world last year, but he's got it to a one-on-one. -on -one. Bombs deep, he's got a swing. They know that, Flamey. What a pistol, an ace. He gets an ace. Welcome to Spodek, everybody. Jen just waiting for it. He's advancing back and forth. Wants to figure out the side they'll enter into. Bates them to Nico, but Nico gone. It's now all onto it, Dren. So proficient with the pistol, but you know who is? A man who got an ace last time. He's got two. He's got the only two for Navi so far, Flamey. As the bomb gets planted inside of B, Olaf's going to take the long rotation. The flank from behind. Zeus is watching it. Guardian that wants Rain to work with him so he can get in from Ruin, so he can take some of the attention away. Zeus gave it up. Zeus thought he'd cleared Banana. He hadn't. Olaf was in behind the wall. They're going to think that's wide open, but now they realize. With the other kills, they've all turned around. Flamey's looking for double ace in the pistol. Double ace in the pistol! Both of them! Ten kills, two pistols, two rounds for Na'Vi! Yeah, there's no grenades, Eve. They'd love to throw a Molotov to the back of one of these angles. Oh, Stewie uncharacteristically comes down second best in the trade, and it's down to Twists again. They know exactly where he is. He's going out there! Shot. The reaping from Twists was sumptuous. This map is warming up. It's not going to be a one-sided affair. Hopefully we go the full distance. And see who can hold their own. As simple. Will be naded down to 35 HP. Oh. He gets a double kill. He has the audacity to stick around. And it pays off for him. Flamey chimes in with the third. A five versus two out of nowhere. Unreal that Simple's found two of those already in this series. 5 HP as well for X7. Simple wants more. <laughs> of course he does. All he's got to do, though, is keep firing speculative shots, because here we go. Edwards! I hate to see that, man. Oh, you do, because now it's only a one-man advantage. Simple is being dynamic as ever. He's well, got the angle as well. Watch Sergey, because he's going to walk straight into it. Simple, he'll shut it down himself. Even if Edwards couldn't fi finish the flank, Simple will do it all. X7's opened up. The A side, though, he's wide open here. Flamey's over with Simple on B, so a bomb plant certainly is a possibility. Simple wants to get the op to catch him. Is X7 gonna try and completely catch them off? No, he was trying to see if anyone's rotating through spawn and just give himself an advantage, but he's done that already. One versus one against the orb. HP no longer a factor. He can actually win this round! It doesn't connect. He'll have to plan. He's gotta go, though, Simple. He's got the gun back up! Simple's close enough. Low HP. Pistol holds it off. Device still waits as well. If they rotate back off, he can time this. He's got X7 down. Does he expect the second? He won't. Ariel knew it. And it's on Zipix again, but this time he's got a little more than a CZ. This is the problem, though. When Zipix disappears, it's clear he's up to no good. They know he's on B, but where? How do they possibly get that information? They'll go together. That is the right call. But this time, keep in mind also, there's no kits. Yes, indeed. And no smoke. Zipix can just be patient. Let noise reveal all. Oh, is he gonna be spotted though? No, Sergey didn't see it. He didn't realize. His own gun, I think, blocked the vision, and now Zipix knows that they're working in. One above. Oh, he's the lamb, and ends the slaughter, because it's Zipix that's gonna hold it off! Oh. Now, those were some incredible plays, but uh, it's the major guys. What do you expect? Now, not every godlike highlight is going to be an ace or a clutch, and that's why we've got the best of the rest of VAC worthy plays from the major. Nico primed for another one. We've only seen a couple of uh, aggressive plays. Adren this time, that flashbang is spot on. He's done so much damage and two kills, make it three. Go his way, pop flash to perfection. And against those AK 47s. Could be deadly. Next step for NIP, you can see systematically taking map control. First in halls. Oh! Kaze catches force at a jump. Nico going in first with a scout. Can he land some majestic shots? Oh my goodness! The shot onto Rush is sublime! But it's not going to be enough to yield the round more than likely. <laughs> It's looking fantastic for G2 and Lucky who finds the bomb. 
No time remaining. Excarup actually takes a nade to the face and surely could be traded out at this point. They can even wait for the time to expire. There is a flank coming in. I think the boost was that yeah, a self boost. boost. I, it was a self boost. That's sick. Oh, but Excarup heard it. Kenny very isolated on quad, all by his lonesome. Yeah, I mean, look how easy it is to just take mid control, especially on the pistol round. You apply just a little bit of pressure, and Shox doesn't want to commit to that fight. Long way for him to fall back, and JR's so close. There's the shadow showing. One tap from Shox, and now the offense. It's not finding any success. Kenny in the bomb site. Oh, oh he's answering our questions now. We doubted him. But what an impressive start. Shox and Kenny S, yes, those were the two names we discussed, and here they are. Once that Molotov clears, Vitality will start to move in. They're still waiting for Alex and RPK to get round from CT side, which they're doing right now. They do have a smoke, which has just been tossed out in three flashbangs. The downside is no HEs or Molotovs in Kaze. He's able to claim the first blood. Oh, they line up and he's gonna get a kill. Looks like Freeman and gets the clutch. Vici have actually pulled that 2v4 clutch out of the hat. Start to pincer around towards heaven, see if he can get around the back of ramp if he can. Suk could be a goner. He hasn't quite got into close enough proximity. Rez is really playing this one perfectly. He's going to survive as long as possible, see how many players he can line up. He's going to find them two sprays both down. Rez, flawless play. Smoked out now. One on site, that was Summer. He's gone. The bomb's starting to cross now, but I look at this. They've actually boosted through. Through. What's happened? Summer! No! He's causing utter destruction! Snacks is gone, it's somebody now. Name. And another one with the orb to finish it. Forest in the meanwhile gonna get flashbang. Able to at least take Glaive with him, but Rez, he's playing this one so slowly. He is waiting for as many terrorists to push past him as possible, but in doing so, he's baiting the rest of his teammates. Can he feasibly stop this from getting done? Oh, he's picked up two, looking for a third Lancet onto the bench as well. Can't get the fourth, as Mages does, but there's Forest. I thought Rez had made it too hard, but he pulls it back. This is the CT side. Astralis is known for this half. They're very dominant here. The real question will be, is nine rounds enough for the Renegades here? They already tried to contest ramp early on in the headshots. Device oh. cannot lay his head too low on that He's note. He's gonna have a much wow. better time after that pistol. You can see on the minimap, you have a guy towards the A bomb side, making sure nobody pushes ramp. Flamey going for the aggressive peak, not hitting it though, but it gives them a lot of information that you have an AVP towards the B bomb side. That's why they comfortably can take middle now. Simple can not they? having it though. Yeah, comfortable is a strong word when Simple's in the server. Double. And I think a triple, my goodness. Oh baby, a triple. And this time Fallen will call for Cold to get away. It's not another smoke they can put there, so he gets back to the cubby instead. Nades will go immediately by him, and the fact that he spotted two nades confirms that there's two there, and I almost feel sorry for what Cold's gonna do, because they had no oh! idea he was in the corner! He steps back out! A player is squeaky to our Molotov to stop the push at the start. And Kenny... Oh, oh Jesus! Dear. You don't like to see that. But all of this damage and well, they've read it to perfection. JKS with the peak of a lifetime on the device, punish him. We talked about this in the first half. Presumably head towards insiders. Simple. Oh, oh what the hell? God. All right then, fully blind. Trying to bait out a shot from the off, and oh, there finally it is. And actually, there's going to be a chance for two players to go down. Vince, you might be eating another boot. Tapson waiting in the bomb site. Oh, okay. nice. That is cruel and unusual. And around. Peek out towards CT. Flash goes over. Oh, yes, sir! What? That is damn sexy from Kenny. As now he looks for his second kill up against Zeus, takes a bit of damage, decides to pull back. Wise move. But they've hatched another plan for the first couple oh. through because it's simple! Over toward B. He falls back after the first, he's alone. Slipshot Cavalier, he tries to peek it again, and he will! He absolutely will! Half human, half machine! Looking straight through the lens! Simple finds around again, Navi! Okay guys, so far we've seen plays that got our hearts racing, but we also wanted to show you the moments that warmed our hearts as well. And this major had more than its fair share. Well this week, or at this event, two Intel Extreme Masters champions suffered a personal tragedy. One player lost his father. One player lost his mother. But they chose to be here. Because in order to be the best, they had to be here this week. 
Not next week, not the week after that. They have to be here this week in order to be the best. They chose to stay because together with other people, they were chasing the same dream. And they chose not to fail those people. Now, I don't know, I have no idea what it takes to do what they did. I can't possibly imagine. But I wanted to take this opportunity while I'm here on stage to honor their sacrifice. Because what they did is what champions do. Now, all the players here, they committed their entire lives to be here this week and be the best version of themselves this week. When you watch them, when you watch them compete, please remember, please think of all the possible sacrifices that they made in order to be here. I wish all of you that this major is the best major of all time, the most entertaining week that you've ever had in your lives. And that when you go home, please remember to tell your father and tell your mother that you love them. Thank you. I came into this tournament with my father. Uh, yeah, he passed away just before I got here, and his last wish was that I, I went here. And so I really want to dedicate this, this win to my father. Well guys, that about does it for the best from IEM Katowice 2019. Three weeks of incredible Counter-Strike and I can't believe we have to wait till September to do it all again. But if you're still craving that major content, well, in less than 24 hours, we'll be dropping the best fails and funny moments from this major as well. So I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. If you want more great content just like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button.